Listen, bro, call me Mater the way I'm useless. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Games Games today, and only today. We are here to talk about Sonic Frontiers DLC hopes and predictions for this year. You know, we've had the DLC roadmap announced about a month ago. Uh, we know that Sega is actually back in their offices. The JP account tweeted about it, and, you know, Katie on the Western side tweeted about it. So they're back to work, you know, which means Sonic News is probably inbound, you know, within the next month or so. And I figured we'd talk about all the things I think is going to happen with frontiers this year because i feel like this year isn't it for frontiers you know obviously we had the big launch last year that was the mega bulk of it but i still think you know frontiers has a lot of life left into it you know with the dlc with random updates and i figured we'd go over each one now giving my predictions now that i've had time to think about stuff so first of all let's talk about costumes right so far right we've had a costume a month now i know it's only been two months so it's too early to say whether it's a consistent or not but we've had the monster hunter dlc collab costume we've had the christmas outfit costume and we have the sonic adventure 2 soap shoes that were available for people that signed up to the newsletter so we've had a few costumes in the game but i still think this is going to be one of the most easiest things that they keep adding and also there's the adventure boots one that comes with like the collector's edition or whatever it is not really a fan of those but some people like them but yeah it seems pretty clear that you know they want to keep updating the game with costumes and fits and i'm all for it you know i feel like with sonic there's a lot of potential you know you could do you know a, a, a mega Mega Man costume, you know, or maybe he has a little blaster with him. I, I would love if, like, more costumes had unique stuff. Sort of how, like, the Monster Hunter one adds the cooking mini game. It'd be cool if, you know, more of the costumes had little mini games that came with them every time you went to, you know, the fishing area. Like, you know, what if you got Mega Man, you did, like, a little shootout range or something. Or what if, you know, it was a Hatsune Miku costume and you did a little rhythm game. Like, please, that would be fire. We've had a ton of Art of Sonic and Pac-Man together. You know, what if there was some collab with that? Or maybe you had to, maybe it replaces the rings with power pellets. I mean, we know because of the Corona DLC, you know, that it's possible for Coco's to be swapped with a different creature. So, you know, like, what if this is how the Chow returned, baby? You know, you get a skin for him, you know, you get the Chows up in there. But my point is, there's going to be a lot of costume potential. Maybe they bring back the Sonic Link costume. They make that exclusive to the Switch. Maybe they bring over the Sonic Prime shoes, Sonic Movie shoes. There's a ton of costume potential. And I just think that's going to be a part of the game. I want to say, I want to see them get weird with it. You know, bring the Vampire Sonic fit that you know he wears in a lot of the halloween outfits you know bring some cool different colored shoes or different outfits from old you know franchise bring on the riders outfit dude imagine like a riders you know dlc even where like you know you wore the rider shoes and maybe you could hover around the board around the map that would be fire would love something like that but we'll see where the costumes go either way i think that's going to be an easy w next up we have quality of life updates right i do think beyond the dlc i think there's definitely some stuff they could just update to sort of fix the game in a lot of ways I don't want to get into the uh, the logistics of, of too much of it, but like there's some small stuff. So for example, right, they could fix the pop in. You know, we all know that the game has pop in. We do know that a lot of it is caused because of the Switch version. You know, they had to build it for that uh, an old gen version. So I think it might probably not be able to be fixed. But in a world where maybe hey they have a next gen you know patch or something that's able to fix the pop in, that would be really fine. I would love something like that. I think it's not impossible to do you know down the line or something. Another thing I think would be a smart quality of life update would be uh what about if they added assist navigation now the reason i say this is because i know a lot of casual so uh, fans of sonic and even just of games that when they got to chaos island they dropped it because they didn't know where to go so what if you know they had an update where like you could put an easy mode or an assist mode where if you know you have something on a target for a while at some point you know it just puts a line on the ground sort of like how mario odyssey does uh in the assist mode where like it just shows you exactly where to go because I feel like, you know, a lot of people could benefit from that. And I think it would help a lot of people, you know, beat the game. I'm sure there's a lot of statistics. You know, Sega probably has a bunch of stats of where people stop playing and all that stuff. And I'm sure a lot of it is shown to have stopped at Chaos Island. I know a few people, like I said, that stopped there because they got frustrated navigating it. So something like an assist navigation for stuff, you know, for younger people or even people that have trouble with games and all that stuff would be fire. Of course, please fix the Elder Coco. All right, that dude just, it should not be one by one. What it should be is that you select how many times you want to upgrade you know um the speed or whatever i would say other thing or your stamina or rings you know instead of doing it one by one like it should be that you're able to choose how many times you want to level it up based on how much cocos you have instead of doing this unbearably slow yes wait for the animation yes wait for the animation it makes leveling up to 99 a nightmare also add leaderboards like i 
cyberspace levels are so fun and you're seeing so many people online, you know, share their clips of their best times and stuff like add leaderboards. Even Sonic Mania has leaderboards. Come on now. And also, when I get a new record on a cyberspace level, please show that to me. You know, make it a nice flash thing being like, hey, new record. Because sometimes I'll do a cyberspace level in arcade mode and I have to like mentally remember the time I got because it doesn't tell me, hey, new record on this, you know? So something like that would be nice. And then, you know, obviously we've talked about how they potentially want to update the end and maybe they're going to update some things about the game, maybe add a boss replay. Obviously, you know, they might have something in the DLC plan for that, but a cool boss replay or a cutscene replay or something would be fire. Now, let's get into the 2023 DLC roadmap conversation. So we have update one right now. First of all, when is it coming? I'm guessing this update's going to be around late February, early March. The reason I say that is because update two has Sonic's birthday as an update, which leads me to believe that update is going to be planned for June, which means DLC one makes sense to have, you know, like I said, around end of February, early March, especially like now that, you know, the game sales are probably slowing down a bit after the holidays and big launch rush, you know, have something to kick off the hype, you know, once you get towards the end of February and you kick off spring, you know, a lot of people on spring break buying the game and all that stuff. So that makes sense. As for the individual content, Content, right we know we have the jukebox now obviously you know you know how jukeboxes are in games you go and listen to a songs but what i would love is two things first of all rule number one do not make it a room i go into where i cannot you know do anything else i right? don't make it a menu that i click and i can only show their list of the songs it's 2033 sorry we have youtube for that you know make it so that i can walk around the island and choose any song i want um when i'm playing it and also why not go the extra mile and even add songs that aren't even in sonic frontiers you know, it'd be cool if you had some of the tracks, you know, from Sonic Mania or Sonic Generations or Sonic Adventure 2 or whatever. Like, that would be really fire if they went all out with the jukebox. I do think it probably is going to be mostly Sonic Frontiers tracks, but it would be nice if they went that extra mile, you know, give me some old school classics and stuff to run around the open zone in. I think jukebox, you know, has a lot of potential if it's done right. Then photo mode. Oh, baby. I am so excited for photo mode. Dude, this game looks so fucking good. It's, it's always a shame it didn't launch with photo mode because I would have been in that bitch like so many hours and i can't wait for it because i really will be in there a bunch now what's really cool is actually in the picture you can see that sonic's posing for the camera which leads me to believe that you are going to be able to pick different poses for sonic maybe they're going to give him different actions he can do that you can pose him in you know it'd be cool if you could put him into an adventure pose you know let him do a peace sign or all this stuff but either way like to me photo mode is awesome make it hella extensive too you know make it like spider-man almost where you know give me a shit ton of filters give me a, a shit ton of poses i can pick through you know make it so i can change the lighting the background stuff like that you know make it so that within the photo mode you can change the day and night cycle i realistically feel like it is going to be a pretty basic one but as long as you know i have some cool filters i can pose sonic a little bit uh it'll be fire because man some of the shots in the game yo know, whether it's from trailers or even people posting screenshots online stuff are amazing so i want to see what kind of shots people can do once they have a full photo mode for a sonic game now obviously the most interesting and biggest part of this dlc is the new challenge modes man i've been racking my brain about this so much because we have to look at the image for this right so first of all we see cyberspace right we see an arrow pointing down to the different cyberspaces now thought number one is new cyberspace levels i would love that you know if they just added more um but Telling me new challenge modes makes me think that's not the case. Instead, it feels like they're going to be doing some sort of remix thing with the cyberspace level. So maybe you're going to need, you know, new win conditions to beat them. You know, maybe a different set amount of coins. Maybe there's a different collectible in the level. Maybe, you know, harder clear times or something. Or you have to beat a bunch of them in a row. It would be really cool if, like, they figured out a way. You Maybe, you know, like, you can go one stage to another. But, like, it transitions, you know, really smoothly and easily. But my, my thing is, like... I know the obvious thing is a marathon mode, right? But, like, I feel like with arcade mode, you have that. I mean, the loading in the game is so quick that I don't feel like there's really going to be a significant difference between me picking 1-1 one, one, than me picking 1-2 from arcade mode. So, I do hope whatever they do for the challenge mode for cyberspace levels is fire. You know, maybe they're harder. You know, there's more enemies in them or there's more stuff to do. Either way, give me your ideas for what you think they could do with the cyberspace stuff. But what's really cool also is right here, we could see two things. We could see Sonic fighting a boss and Sonic fighting in Super Sonic. Now, I think this is going to be the key way you're going to be able to replay the Titan fights is, you know, being able to do this. Um, and I'm 
genuinely curious how they're going to be doing this. Is this just a boss rush mode in general? Because it looks like he's finding, you know, one of the bosses from the game regularly. I think it's Centipede or one of those. Uh, and then there's Super Sonic. So maybe you take on, you know, a few bosses from... Kronos Island and then you fight Giganto right and then after that you go on to wave 2 where you fight some of the bosses from you know the desert island what's it, the Ares Island you know and then you fight Wyvern and you go so on and so forth with that challenge and maybe you have a set amount of rings for that entire challenge maybe after you maybe it's sort of like Kirby where after you beat a boss you know you have a room where you can get some you know a, a certain amount of rings or something that you can grab or some health or something you know I, I don't know how they'll handle this but either way this looks like it's going to be the key to replaying the bosses and again the extra mile would be if these bosses were harder like if somehow you know giganto had more health maybe you could pick like different difficulties for this challenge mode like or he has new moves or something like i would love something like that or maybe wyvern has an extra attack or maybe making parrying more difficult in that mode either way i feel like there's a lot of potential in that now that covers my thoughts and predictions for update one now for update two let's get right into it so first of all we have sonic's birthday i don't know what this means this could mean anything like it, it could mean an extra cutscene where they just celebrate sonic's birthday it could be that you know maybe he gets a new little dance animation it could be you know that every time he runs around uh what's it called confetti falls from the sky this is the most vague dlc thing i've ever seen in my life but i do hope it's like a fun little scenario maybe you know maybe you go collect a certain amount of like you know chili dog pieces or something and then you get some reward or some costume for it i feel like maybe you'll un unlock like a birthday hat or maybe that uh that birthday outfit sonic wears if you guys have seen a lot of sonic channels official art he sort of wears this like king's you know robe uh on his birthday to celebrate stuff so that could be really fire if he had something like that on but i don't know what sonic's birthday could mean try to figure it out with me now this next one from update 2 is really interesting open zone challenge now first of all this says challenge as opposed to challenges in update 1 so this tells me maybe it's going to be one big time trial for an island because you can see there's a timer on it which maybe leads me to believe that it's going to be maybe one big like event you have to do on an island maybe you have to go from point a to z but you have to get to different checkpoints on them there's different enemies i don't know it seems to me open zone challenge tells me that it's going to be a singular challenge per island but maybe it's going to be a really difficult one maybe it'll be like maybe it's something like you know you're on a timer and the more enemies you kill the more the timer goes up or stuff like that you know i think that could be really clever and creative if they did something you know maybe it's like almost a mini scavenger hunt that's really timed and the more you accomplish the more time you get but either way open zone challenge sounds fun i really wonder how substantial it's gonna be and then the last update is new coco now again i have no fucking idea what this means um the most i can really gauge from it is maybe it's gonna be a new type of skill you can get because think about it right so far the cocos are essentially a way for you to get upgrades you know whether it's your stamina your rings your health your damage or whatever so a new coco to me implies that there's going to be some sort of new unlockable move or technique that you get by collecting this coco and also how does this coco work does it became does it become part of the main game like once this update comes out right is that new coco gonna be just you know part of the main story or is it really a dlc quest you do to collect this new coco i'm not really sure like i said this one's really broad it could be anything i'm guessing it's to unlock a new ability of some kind by collecting them but i guess we'll find out and last but not least of course update three the big Big expansion i like to call it which is you know playable characters and new story god i've been thinking about this so much bro how are they gonna handle this what are they gonna do you know we got tails knuckles amy this is clearly where a lot of the work is going to go into and we also see sage now obviously spoilers ahead for this i don't know if this dlc is going to be taking place post game or you know prequel style to me it makes sense you know we had a post credit scene you know where eggman was rebuilding sage so it would make sense if maybe you know this dlc um covers you know what happens next but at the same time in the cover art here we're seeing it's the digital versions of tails knuckles and amy so maybe i don't know you get to see what they were seeing when they were trapped or beforehand and and you know they're trying to you know battle sage within that world but it's also weird because i feel like it's the first time they see sage when they see her so a lot of weird shit going on with whatever this dlc is and i also wonder like does this also mean sonic's just not gonna be part of this dlc because it does say 
create new playable characters in the story, but that doesn't necessarily omit Sonic from being part of this DLC pack. And I hope it's focused around the buddies, but it doesn't necessarily take away potential Sonic uh, appearance in here. But yeah, I mean, I think also the biggest thing here is how are these characters going to play? Because I think this is going to be a big test to see how at a potential, you know, world where we start to see side characters playable in the main game again you know i'd be shocked if you know this dlc isn't a hint at sonic frontiers to having a main second playable character being you know the different gang members or shadow or something i feel like they're hinting towards that and i feel like you know this is also building to our potential world of adventure remakes you know and building back that foundation of having the buddies playable but man i, I wonder like i feel like maybe tails moose is going to be very gadget based you know maybe he's summoning little spider toys he's got his little blast so, you know, maybe he could do some kicks, some tail spins. I would love like a mini moose set like that. With Knuckles, I mean, it writes itself. I have to feel like Knuckles did in that animated short, right? I want him punching the ground. I want him knocking people out, doing some spin dash attacks. Like, I want Knuckles to feel raw in this. And Amy, I mean, come on. Just give me some hammer bashes. Make her feel fun, cool. Make the animations flashy. And I, and I wonder how they're going to handle the quest lines. Are they going to handle it sort of like adventure? Like, is Tails just going to have maybe some linear levels to go through? Is he going to be in the open? Open zone is knuckles gonna be collecting chaos emerald pieces because i feel like for the first time in a long time this game feels like the most logical to have knuckles you know finding emerald pieces you know if he's climbing around you know the open world and stuff and with amy i don't know what she'd do you know maybe she'd be more combat driven but i'm so curious to see like are they going to be in contained levels that are designed around them or are they going to be running around the open zone because it doesn't say that there's going to be a new open zone playable here and in fact the background here is um what's called chronos island or at least the extension version of it from Rhea and uh, what's called uranos but i really wonder like how they're going to be playing i feel like because they're in their digital forms in this art again everything is subject to change it says on the bottom i feel like maybe you are going to be playing specific designated levels for them sort of you know sonic adventure style as opposed to them being in the open zone but i would love if if you beat those you could unlock them to be playable in the open zone somewhere i would just i don't know that sounds amazing to me i would love something like that and it's it's really hard to tell what they're gonna do with this but again i feel like it's uh, something in me tells me it's not gonna be a post-game story uh but i would love if it was if they took a bold risk and they're like hey this is basically side frontiers 1.5 we've also done massive updates to the game uh we've you know revamped the end and supreme and all this stuff so maybe it is some crazy new end game type beat for the game which would be fire but i do feel like it's gonna lean more on maybe prequel stuff or you know their digital forms and what's going on there we'll see what happens but either way guys let me know what you all think is going to go down with this dlc story what are you most excited for i mean you're i know you're most excited for the last one but what do you want to see from the dlc in general quality of life updates and all that stuff thank you all for watching you are the best peace out